Good evening, Christopher Gavin here with week two's assignment of FTT 122 basic introduction into basic ballistics. Uh, this round is not a live round. As you can see, there's no primer. It was sent by SDI. Uh, the body is the cylinder, which is partially capped. There is a shoulder on this modern round right here at the tip. And that is a tapered area above the body vased or used to transition from the neck into the body. The neck, obviously, is part of the bottleneck cartridges, just like this. Case that pla uh, places tension on the bullet, preventing it from moving unintentionally. Mouth, if this projectile wasn't there, You'd be able to see the mouth. It is part of the cartridge case where the projectile is inserted. A flash hole. The flash hole is the opening in the center of the web. Provides an orifice from the primer pocket into the case body. The head is the uh, <coughs> excuse me base of the cartridge. A primer pocket. You can see there is a hole. That is the primer pocket. It's a hollow ca cavity in the center of the head. The rim is a flange or a lip located around the case head. Extraction groove is that little groove right there. It's a channel cut into the case body directly above the case rim. A belt, if this round had, but this round does not have a belt, it would be a raised band along the bottom up above the extractor groove as i said this one does not have it a head stamp see if i can get it to focus a little bit marked markings used to identify the cartridge that's the basics of the modern cartridge range part two of the assignment was were there any disadvantages of the modern cartridges uh the only one i really found about them is that they are expensive there are a high cost to manufacture per round and what i would start doing is looking for more ways to cut cost lower the manufacturer prices per round maybe try the polymer rounds maybe they're a little cheaper than these brass rounds uh, that would hold under pressure and heat like I said polymer so part three of it was we were to pick a question and the question I would pick would what would happen to a standard cartridge if it was ignited outside of a chamber and why so the cartridge would actually explode in every direction basically when it is in a chamber the reason behind it is the high pressure is when it's in the chamber, it can only go successfully escape in one direction, which is down the barrel. So it's all built up in one and it's just going straight out that, towards that other way. When it's just out in the open like this, it's just going to go any direction it wants. Thank you. Y'all have a good evening. This is Christopher Gavin. Good night.